Well, hello, Cancer. <laughs> Benny decided to jump on the desk today um, for you. He hasn't done that in months, okay? So, um, anyway, hello, my name is Amber. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you for being here. Um, so this is going to be your reading for December, your general reading. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button if you'd like to know when the next reading will be posted. Um, if you want to get these readings super early or um, you want the extendeds for any of the readings here or Instagram or Facebook, um, that will be on Patreon. Those links are in the description box below for Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, also, if you want a private reading, links in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above there, right there, right there, and we'll be happy to do that for you. Um, please remember this is a general reading, so if it doesn't fit, don't make it. You don't want those problems. You wouldn't do, baby. You don't want those problems, so, um, check your, ooh, hair in my mouth. <laughs> to your moon rising and venus signs um a link to figure out what those are for you are in the description box below Ugh, it's free it's free so um check that out oh look he jumped down right in time okay cancer so let's jump into your reading so your first card is endless possibilities here okay so I feel like in December you're open up, opening up to uh, the different possibilities in your life. Um, it's very interesting because I feel like it has something to do with your intuition. I feel like collaborating with someone in your life. Um, brings about success or movement in your life. Um, it's almost like collaborating with someone or something someone has said to you. Helps you move forward. I hope... I, I, it feels like it opens you up to a new way of looking at things. Very interesting. Or a new way of expressing yourself. Intuition. See, I'm telling you. There's something that comes towards your life that's a sign cancer in December uh, I feel like someone says something to you or you see something and you think about your truth and how you've been expressing yourself and I feel like that changes for you it's like you get a sneak peek into your intuition as far as how it impacts your future oh spirit self be who you are as you are. Yeah. For example, it feels like someone says to you, like, do you really want those types of friends? And then you look at your friends and think, do I want these people to be my friends? Are these the people that I want around me? It's like you get a chance to start over from some sort of knowledge. Whether someone brings this to your attention or you have some sort of spiritual awakening. But I feel like with endless possibilities, it's your decision. It's kind of like how you see your inner self. Is it being reflected in your outer self that's going to help you become a better version of you? Yeah, pioneer. So I feel like you have to step away from like a group of people or a situation that's no longer good for you. There's a need for you to be really excited about newness though, about what it is that you're creating and who it is that you're being. I feel like It's kind of like you need to stick with your spiritual journey this time. Because it's almost like you've done it before, but then you got distracted or... 
started focusing on maybe this group of friends or somebody that wasn't good for you or an old way of being. But it's like seeing that whatever you were doing is just not good for you anymore and it's time to break free from that. Yeah, you had this idea before in the past, Cancer, whatever it was. And I feel like you went back to it. Um, maybe because you thought success was there. Or it was a friend group or a person that just made you feel safe, you know. But I feel like there's a lot of like turmoil in that situation. And you have to make a decision for yourself to be in a place of peace which could be away from that person you know I feel like you need to spend some time by yourself to figure out you know it's even like it's like you were around a group of people but you still felt lonely and now you have to figure out where you need to be to find that peace so not feeling lonely not feeling like people don't get you but being in a place that's going to make you happy. But it all starts with you being strong enough to take that leap or do that for yourself. So it's about like building up your courage, your self-esteem, your self-worth. That kind of thing. Three of Swords, the Devil, Lovers. Four of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Justice, Seven of Rods, Four of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, the Sun, and the Five of Cups. Major Arcana, we have the Justice and the Devil and the Lovers. Oof, very interesting little set there. I don't like that the Devil and the Lovers are next to each other, though. Because that's what I was telling you. It's something about something you feel like is for you or you're passionate or focused on that isn't really good for you. Or you're just so obsessed with it that it's hard for you to break free. But anyhow, so the Ten of Swords means that you're going through something mentally. This is you staying in a situation that's not really good for you. Um, but I feel like it's just what you're used to. So you keep going back to it, but it's not feeding you anymore. There is a need for you to put a rest to it. They're telling me that you have put a rest to this in the past and you went back to it whatever it is um it could be a different situation but the same energy but it's time for you to put something to a rest so you can heal from it this time the sun card means that spirit is trying to get you to reach some sort of attainment by letting this thing go the problem is you know that it's for your good but for some reason it keeps calling you back in just like the way it did in the past so this could be a person or a situation, okay? Um, but they're trying to illuminate the fact that you don't get what you want from it emotionally. And also, it's just a cycle that you keep going back into, Cancer. So I feel like you took the leap and got rid of it, whatever it was. You separated yourself from it. Um, and it was kind of one of those out of sight, out of mind situations for a little while um, I'm also getting a story of someone breaking up with you and you not knowing what to do so you go back to these this old way of doing things 
because that's where you feel comfortable. But they're trying to break you out of that feeling of comfortability for something for something that's not really helpful to you. It's time for you to differ, differentiate the difference between passion and obsession. I feel like you think that something is really for you, but it's not. You know, it's just that you're very focused on it, almost borderline obsessed with it. Um... Like you can't stop communicating or you can't stop connecting with whatever this is and not letting it go. It's going to take a level of courage and wanting a new beginning to really let this go. It's going to be a really big decision for you in your life, but it's one that you need to make. Yeah, you need to make the decision to walk away from whatever this is, Cancer, or to let something go. And I feel like in your unmotivated way, or, you know, the lack of emotional fulfillment, you kind of went back to something, or went back to doing something that it wasn't healthy. Because it made you feel like you were back in control after losing control of something. I feel like for the time being, it makes you happy or makes you feel emotionally fulfilled. But it's not really doing that with the devil card. It's kind of like just having something to feel that space makes you feel that way. But that's not what's happening here. But when you step back and look at the success that you're making, you're not going to see any. Which means that because you're not making any success in this situation it just feels empty what you're doing it's just ego based this is very ego based energy these two cards together so it's time for you to do what is right here and stop ignoring it's like you need to go through some hurt okay you need to accept the situation for what it is and balance it out you know, live a, live your life with integrity and just see what it is that you need to see. Which means that you're going to have to break down this wall right here of, of feeling like you're in total control and see that you're not. So I feel like it's going to be a, one of those situations where you have to knock down the battles one at a time. But if you're steady, you can meet your goal. You just have to be really focused on finding balance here. But it first starts with you making a decision to pay attention to something that you were ignoring. I feel like you're always going to have this feeling like you need to fulfill this spot. But that's something you're going to have to work on with yourself. I, be careful of spending a lot of money. I feel like you're going to spend a lot of money, Cancer. And you don't want to do that. I feel like that's just another way for you to um, feel this empty space. It's time for you to actually work on it and deal with whatever this is. You have an opportunity to attain glory. The sun card comes out because it's, this seems like a really hard and treacherous like time. But I feel like it's for your best. Yeah, you have to go through some sort of grieving or healing process that you're not going to like. But it's the best thing for you to do for yourself. But it's going to be hard. Let's clarify. I want to see what this is. I'm going to clarify this one differently just by the way it's reading. I feel like I need to do that. So we have the pages, page of wands. The two of wands. And the full in reverse. 
first. Yeah, I feel like you tried to start something um, again, impulsively. You were thinking about your future and you were hoping that it would be a part of your future, but I feel like it fell apart. It fell apart because you weren't seeing that it wasn't meant to be. It's like you were doing this from a space of ego and what it is you wanted and you didn't look at the bigger picture of the situation. So it fell apart and it's time for you to separate from it. But I feel like right now with these three cards, you're overindulging in your ego, in this negative energy, in this uh, kind of obsession. And it's not really working for you, but I feel like you're ignoring it um, by trying to like smooth it over in your mind, you know? Um, You're like, well, I'm doing this for love. I'm doing this for the, the the right reasons. But you're not paying attention that it's not helpful to you. Yeah, it's time for you to heal this energy because it's not healthy. This is you going back to something to feel something. Because you just want to feel something, anything. That's what it feels like to me. It has to do with you losing a love or losing something that was important to you. Yeah, it feels like someone that you thought was were, was your person or the person you were supposed to be with. Uh, I feel like there's very much energy of you, of them feeling like you took them for granted. Okay? And they became clear of that fact and just decided to end it or let it go. Yeah. They broke that wall down. They're like, this is over, this is done. Okay? So I feel like you're um, trying, I feel like you've tried to apologize or tried to do what is right. This could be you or them, um, but it's just not working. It's not working. It's not fixing the situation, but I feel like you're not paying attention to that. You're just thinking about different ways or different things you can do to get that emotion back, whether that is going back for that person and trying again or finding it in something else that's not really helpful. You're trying to hold on too tightly to your ego here. You're trying to hold on too tightly to a situation basically based in your ego because you don't want to be hurt. You don't want to be proved wrong. But nothing is moving. It's like there were problems with the growth of this in the first place because there was too many secrets or someone wasn't expressing their feelings, which I feel like is you, really. Um, and you just don't want to let it go. It's like knowing that there was stability or something real and something you had to let go. Or you just don't want to be proved, proven wrong here. Even though you know it's not going anywhere. Yeah, somebody's not coming towards you because they feel like you don't give them enough love. You don't give them enough affection or what they need. And they can tell that this is unhealthy or that you're into unhealthy things. Or you can't let go of something from the past and they just decided to move on because they didn't feel anything coming from there. It was just too much of a burden and they just chose to let it go. Okay. So it's time for you to also get that kind of balance. Yeah, it's time for you to learn how to fill your cup up in your own life, you know, without substituting for someone else or without going for something that is unhealthy for you, right? Because it doesn't work. It's like every time you go to fill up your cup, Cancer, you're going towards something that's not healthy or something that's not on your path, right? And simultaneously what happens is you're, you lose control. You're taking more of a passive approach in... In your integrity in your life okay so it's time for you to start fighting these battles off one by one yeah you're being called to balance out your life to regain your happiness and your peace the peace in your life that's what's important here I feel like you're always gonna think about this person 
they're never going to give you that love back that you want. So I'm telling you now, if you're going back for this person or this situation, it's always going to be a rough road. It's not going to change. So this is giving you an opportunity to see that, to, to see it, seize the opportunity and start to heal from it. Okay. This is like accepting what is over and what is done and moving on. Yeah, there's no potential here and you need to come clear. And this involves balancing out your emotions and seeing the truth and not living in an illusion. One more card, walking away. Okay. Your emotional fulfillment is not here in this situation. Okay. So it's time for you to find it wherever it may be, but it's not there. Except, oh my God, I was just saying in my head I was going to name this video Acceptance is the Key. And I'm still going to do it. <laughs> so you have acceptance. It says, when I get to know new people, I accept their actual traits rather than the ones I project on them. Same goes for not new people I already know. Acceptance is a delicate art that reminds us everyone is their own unique self. And we can't expect them to ever be anything but. Man, how do those snowflakes do it? So Cancer, that's your reading. Thank you for being here. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.